Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Time Room Sports Show. Won't be doing much, but I'll be definitely talking a little bit about football, a little about baseball, while playing this game, Obsessed with Baseball. Um, this is the 2006 version, so I'll be doing this. This is question number 1779, by the way. If you're on YouTube watching this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified on all that great stuff and so much more. But anyways... 1779, this is a question. Which Reds player hit a dramatic ninth inning homer to tie the score in Game 5 of the legendary 1972 NLCS? I'm going to go with, I think it was George Foster, which is number C. No, it was B, Big Johnny Bench. You can tell right there. Anyways, um, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified as I go through question number 820. Of course, I saw... 32 views on my last episode on YouTube. Very impressive for me. What club produced more National League Bank champions since 1900 than anyone else? Going to go with the Cardinals on that one. Nope, it was the Pirates. Pirates haven't won in about 41 years. Of course, one I'm over for 2 so far today. But, of course, we need to talk a little bit about, you know, football. Because Teddy Bridgewater, of course, has... Signed with the Panthers. Panthers cut Cam Noon. They also signed P.J. Walker, the former Houston Roughnecks quarterback of the XFL. XFL was a lot of fun. Fortunately, it had to end. Everything is canceled. The NFL free agency is slowing down. Everything's starting to struggle a little bit. So I guess I've resorted to trivia questions. In what position did George Wright become the first National Baseball star in the 1870s. I'm going to go with shortstop because why not? Yes, I got it right. Correct. If you could tell right there, I am, whoops, one for three. <laughs> so, yes, thank you for those watching NWC TV during this really unusual and frustratingly difficult time. Other than Wrigley Field was the oldest ballpark in the National League. Well, I believe at the time it was RFK Stadium, even though now it's Dodgers Stadium. RFK was 1961. I got that right, by the way. Or something like that. And then Dodgers Stadium was 1962. This is question number 16. Maybe you guys have this at home. Maybe you don't. What player hit the fewest singles in a season which he played at least 150 games? I'm going to go with Babe Ruth on that one. Nope, it was... B, Barry Bonds. Big cheater, as we are all aware. Of course, we'll see what happens with the football season. Going to be a good one. It's not being affected by the coronavirus. Think about that. Hopefully, by September, this thing will all go away. Hopefully, the Browns' big moves work out. I really hope they do. How did Sal the Barber Majil get his nickname? I'm going to say it was a barber. I don't know. Nope. He liked to pitch inside. Hmm, never knew that. He was a good pitcher for the Indians back then. Question number 1245. By the way, I got like 60 right out of 100 yesterday. Who was the first Padres pitcher to win Cy Young? I think it was Randy Jones. Yep, I'm right, Randy Jones. Three for seven so far. So I know not that much today. Of course, with baseball... If we have a season in baseball, which I'm really not thinking so, um, as I was saying, if we do, I'm going to say Yankees win the East, Twins win the Central, A's are going to win the West, hate the Astros, they're not making the playoffs this year, they got Mr. Choke Tober, otherwise known as Dusty Baker, my wild cards, going to have to go with. The Indians are going to be number one. Number two seed is going to be either Tampa or Chicago. But that's going to be a really good one. Can't wait to see who wins that one. Question number 2251. Who was the last skipper to win a World Series as a player manager? We're going to go with our very own Lou Boudreau in 1948. Player manager. So now I'm four for eight. That's actually really good on baseball standards because remember... In baseball, if you fail three out of ten times, or no, seven out of ten times, or two out of three times, you got yourself a Hall of Fame career. 
I'm right about that. So, question number 356. Who owns the Major League record for saves in a season? It's now K-Rod, but... I'm going to say... Eric Gagne at the time. No, it was... um. Bobby Thigpen, of course, it's now Francisco Rodriguez in 2008, I believe. So, 2496 is the next question. There are 2,500 questions of this. And we are on extra innings, some wild card ones. Um, who were the Wee's kids? I think that was the 1983 Phillies. Yes, because of the Wiz kids in 1950 because of... How fast they got around the base paths. Now number 30. Um, who hit, who last guy to hit 20 triples in a season? I'm going to go with Crawford, Carl Crawford. And no, uh, that would be Christian Guzman. So, of course, can't wait to see that. But I can't um, forget about the National League as I go question five. National League, here's what I'm going to say. Um. In the National League, um, the Braves are winning the East again. Central, I got Milwaukee. West, two outstanding the Dodgers. My wild cards are going to be... I got Nationals and Cubs. I think the Cubs are going to beat the Nationals in the wild card. So now number five, who holds the record for career doubles? Going to go with... Ted Williams, it is incorrect. I think I know who was just speaker, another former Indian. You know, Cleveland Indians are actually really good for a team that hasn't won at all in 72 years. I will be counting. Of course, we have a really good pitching rotation. That's going to help us out. I'm ready for that. The 19, or from 1949-64, um, the 54 Indians and 59 White Sox. We're both managed by Al Lopez. They were the only teams not named the Yankees to win the pennant between that era. And then the Yankees would not win a pennant again until 1976 when Chris Chambliss, a former Indian just five years prior, hit a big walk-off home run. He was Rookie of the Year here. Um, we were a family team, 1979 Pirates. Got that one correct. So playoff predictions... Yankees are one seed. Indians are probably going to... I'm going to go with Chicago. Chicago's going to beat us. Yankees are going to slap Chicago in three games like a stooge slap from Three Stooges. <laughs> and then Twins play the A's. I got Oakland, but despite that, both the Twins and A's are choking teams. Twins haven't won a playoff game since 2004. Oakland since... Uh, or they have not won a series since 2006 against Minnesota. I think they're going to win it again. And then New York, Oakland, Yankees are going to beat Chokeland. What team turned triple plays in back-to-back -back games in 1908? I'm going to say us. And no, it was Detroit, actually, the Detroit Tigers. So Yankees are going to win the American League Pad National League. I mentioned how Cubs are probably going to beat the Nationals in the wild card. And... Sorry if you can't read this, but here's what the book looks like. I'm on question 552. Um, why A's players stole home? I'm going to say it was... Or, no, it wasn't. It was D, Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson was a big home run here, so I wouldn't expect him to steal home. But anyways, um, number 448... As I continue to go there. But anyways, I'm saying the Dodgers are going to beat the Cubs. Not going to be close. And then you have the Brewers playing the Braves. Um, I'm saying the Brewers. And then the Brewers are going to shock the Dodgers. My foul call, it's going to be... I'm saying this is going to be the year the Yankees beat the Brewers. Once again, number 28, as much as we hate seeing it, Aaron Judge is probably going to... Just attack that, you know, Brewers rotation and all those guys. The one thing is that if the Yankees get hurt, if their pitching rotation struggles, then I'd go with Milwaukee. But I'm saying New York, Milwaukee. That's my final pick year. The pitcher was 1968 and 2010, too. Two great years of the pitcher. 
So yeah, some of this stuff is outdated in this book. But once again, the Yankees are going to beat Milwaukee. That's just my gut feeling. 1-1-0-8. Who won the 1959 MVP with just two home runs? That is almost unheard of nowadays. Going to go with... No, um, Going to go with Nelly Fox. And yep, I was right. Look at that. Two home runs, if you can see it. 11 8 Two home runs. That's almost unheard of nowadays in baseball. Because everybody hits home runs. Anyways, I'm saying the Astros are not going to make the playoffs. They cheated to win. Absolutely horrible what they did. Mark Pryor struck out 10 or more batters in three of his first five starts. Who was the last rookie to do that? I'm going to go with Fernando. And yep, he is the only person in baseball history to win Cy Young and Rookie of the Year at the same time. Quite a good pitcher, too. Had some good seasons, as well as that. And a no-hitter, I believe. Number 984, all about the team. Um, see about that, but what team posted the lowest DRA? I'm going to go with the 68 Cardinals. And, oh, that's a shocker. Going to be the 1907 Cubs when they won the World Series. MLB, the show 20 is coming out, or is out already, I should say. Javi Baez is on the cover. I'm actually looking forward to it. Now, in case you don't know, I hate Madden. I hate 2K. NHL is pretty mediocre. And then there's MLB Show and NASCAR Heat, which are two games I like. I personally prefer MLB Show over NASCAR Heat, but still, I like those games. Question number 1519. First National Leaguer to hit over 50 home runs. Going to go with... Um, Mel Ott in that case scenario. No, it was Hack. Hack Wilson. One of the best players of his era. Of course, baseball has definitely evolved over time. As we go to number 736. And I think I'm almost going to be done here. His entire Hall of Fame career, who never played an inning at, in any position except for third base. Can go with Brooks Robinson, and that's incorrect. It was Frank Home Run Baker because Baker was not really a home run here on modern day standards, but at the time he was actually a pretty good hitter. Who wore number ninety nine? That was a closer, Mitch Wild Thing Williams. Actually, the relationship between my or er, a wild thing from Major League and Mitch Williams, I believe, was just sheer coincidence. He had always wanted to wear number 99, even before the movie. Who hit 40 or more homers in a single season? First one, dude, I'm going to go with Hack again. And no, oh, it was Rogers Hornsby. Of course, Cardinals, don't be shocked if they do good this year. And the Mets may do something, but the Mets really disappoint. The Mets always disappoint. They hired Carlos Beltran, but as we all know, Carlos Beltran is a sign stealer. He is a cheater. <laughs> Um, who had 12 consecutive victories out of the bullpen? Don't know that one. Going to go with B. And it was going to be A, Butch Metzger. 11 out of 25 so far. I think this might be my last question. I'm struggling out here. Especially when yesterday I was actually doing pretty good. 563. Who's the all-time White Sox leader? I'm going to go with Eddie Collins for stolen bases. And I got that one right. One of the very few players that did not um, throw the 1919 World Series. I mean, of course. This is a book, Obsessed with Baseball, 2006. If you can find an updated version of this, I recommend it. But I think that's all the time I have for today's episode. So, um... Subscribe to us. Um, don't know when the next episode of Time Room Sports Show is going to be. I don't know about the high school baseball season, if we're going to have one or not. But until we meet next time, stay safe, stay inside, and see you then.